gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Cause I, I, I Wanna try Do the summer night And when we It is the holiday season and we are always looking for little gifts to give all the different people in our life. And today I'm gonna to show you what I have got for my Challenge B students. I am a Challenge B director for Classical Conversations and Classical Conversations is our homeschool community that we use through our homeschool program. And Classical Conversations is a Christian homeschool community that is located actually all throughout the United States and in some places internationally as well. If you're interested in checking out Classical Conversations and learning more about them, please go ahead and check out the link that I've listed down below. But as I said, I am the Challenge B Director for our community, which is the class that my son Lincoln is in. And Challenge B would be the equivalent to eighth graders. We are wrapping up our first semester and all the different things that they have covered has been astronomy for research, that's their science strand. Um, they have been writing persuasive essays. They're getting ready to go into second semester. And with that brings mock trial. We start studying chemistry and a whole bunch of other great strands that they get to discover. So with us wrapping up, we are getting ready to have our last day of community and I wanted to give them each a gift before we went on our Christmas break. So I've done some shopping and I've done a mix of different things, but I know sometimes if you're a teacher out there or if you're another homeschool mom that when you guys get together on your community or co-op day, you've got other students and you're wanting to bless them with a gift. So I thought I would share my ideas with you. I've been able to find some really great deals and some really good things for each individual student to make sure that it's personalized. So I can't wait to share all these with you. I will make sure and include all the links down in the description below for all the different items that I talked to you about today. The first thing that I did when putting these gift bags together is I wanted to make sure that each student had an item that it was just personalized to that student. And what I do at the beginning of my school year is with each student I send home a little handout and it's called My Favorite Things. And it's just a list of questions for them to fill out questions like what is your favorite candy? Where is your favorite place to shop? What's your favorite book to read, who's your favorite author or sports team, and what is your favorite pastime. So they all get turned in to me by about the second or third week and then um, and their birthdays are on there as well. And so then I have this nice collection of items that when Christmas time rolls around or end of year celebration, I can really look at that list and see if there's some little things that I can really use to personalize gifts to them. So the first items that I went through and individually searched for were little books or journals or just smaller things that um, highlighted favorite pastimes or hobbies. So I have a student who is very interested in World War II and also loves to color. So I found these really great, they're the Dover coloring books and they have such a great series. You guys should really check them out. And it's a coloring book with information about World War II. And guys, this was, um, really inexpensive. I want to say it was $4.99. I can't, don't quote me on that, but um, it was uh, in the price range that I was uh, wanting to spend for each student. I have another student who is an avid reader, um, constantly reading, loves all sorts of books. And so if you have a reader in your family, this is a really neat um, log book inside. Inside is, um, just some notes that they can take on the book, why they read it, who they would recommend it to, here's all the rating that they can do in the book. So I thought that would be really fun for my student that absolutely loves to read. We have another coloring book here. I have a student that absolutely loves frogs and also loves to color. So I went ahead and found this. My next student loves to play viola and she, her favorite movie was Beauty and the Beast live action. Through searching on Amazon, I was able to find some sheet music for her. I have a student who loves Lord of the Rings, and this is just a journal that she can keep journaling in, um, and it's got the Lord of the Rings symbol on it. And another one 
who absolutely adores Bernese Mountain Dogs. So I thought this would be a great journal for her as well. One student is an avid fisherman. They go fishing a lot. It's a fishing log and there's a place to put a photo on one side, some notes, maybe where you caught it, and all the fun information <laughs> to log your fishing adventures in. Next up, we have a student who absolutely loves cars. And um, I'm sure some of you viewers out there who know our family can guess who this is. <laughs> I went ahead and was able to find this for our avid car lover in the class. Next up, I have a student who is interested and reads a lot of the Harry Potter books. So I was able to find this Harry Potter themed um, just notebook journal. It's a lot of fun. It's got the Marauders map inside of it and on the front cover of it. We also have a very talented musician in our class. So he is always playing um, the piano, uh, making up songs on his own. I was able to find this music journal. One side you can make notes, the other side it's got the staffs to go ahead and create music and, and compose with. I also have a student who her favorite pastime is baking and also is a Marvel fan. So I found this little recipe cookbook, Baby Groot Inspired Cookies, and I thought that student would have a lot of fun with this. And last, we have a student who is constantly solving Rubik Cubes um, and timing and trying to do all that stuff. So there was a journal that I found and at the very front, there's a whole log of average times and to keep track of what was your fastest time and to take notes. The next thing I was able to find is I went to a store that we have here. It's called Five Below and everything in the store is $5 or below. I picked up a candy cane for each of the kids to put in their bag. These are great because I read on the ingredients, they're gluten-free, they're processed in a gluten-free, nut-free facility, so we don't have to worry about any food allergies there. And the other fun find that I found were these 100 things to see in the night sky books. And they were actually on sale for two for $3. So I picked them up because this last semester we did study astronomy and astronomers all throughout history and time. So I thought this would be a fun thing to wrap up our research strand and for them to be able to have at home to apply all the things that they learned this semester. So each student will get a copy of this. And like I said, this was at five below and it was a great find to get two for $3. Another item I'm gonna be putting in the students' gift bags are these pins that I was able to locate on Amazon. Um, and they're really fun. There's actually a fun little uh, feature on these. If you pull out the little side strip, um, you get the full list of the periodic table of elements. And second semester, we are studying chemistry and they will have to memorize the periodic table. So I thought these would be a fun gift to get them excited about chemistry in second semester. And once again, I did find them on Amazon. They come in packs of two. The link is down below for you. And I found these two little fun items. Because they are in challenge B, we do call them the bees. And so I found a pack of pins that are shaped like bees. The other thing that I thought would be fun are these bookmarks, their book clips. So on the back side, it uh, clips on the page of their book and help them helps them keep place in all the different books that they're reading and uh, textbooks and even their challenge bee guide. Each of the students are gonna get two of these. And over here are the pack of gift bags that I did find on Amazon. Um, I thought they were just really cute and simple. And they also come with a pack of red and green tissue paper as well. So the next step for these are just to get everything sorted out and put in the individual gift bags and I will be all set for our last day of Challenge B. bags 
are completely filled for the Challenge B students. And as I was going through um, the gift bags that I got on Amazon, I had a really fun surprise. There are five different patterns on the gift bag. So that made it even more fun that we could switch it up and um, just have some fun with it. Now that I have all the Challenge B students taken care of, there is one more thing that I needed to be able to try and find gifts for. Along with being a Challenge B director, I am also a support representative or SR for Classical Conversations. And what this is, is I am just someone who helps uh, CC get established in our area and I help license directors for each of the communities and I just come alongside those directors and help encourage them and help them become lead learners for their parents that are in their class. So with this um, being my first year as an SR, I really wanted to have a Christmas party to appreciate my directors. And I've got a little bit more time than giving my gifts that I had for my Challenge B students. but. I did do some shopping with Luke the other night and I think I found out a lot of the gifts that I wanted to do. And with this, I've done a mix of store-bought and homemade gifts. So let me show you what I found. These are actually a Sam's Club find. So we went to Sam's Club the other night and we were looking over the like gifts that you can buy in bulk. And I found these. And as a director, you drink a lot of coffee or tea. And so I went ahead and got two packs, plastic travel coffee mugs, and they've got different Christmas designs. And if you look inside, they also have a little packet of marshmallows and a packet of hot cocoa in there as well. So my thought was to get these and then go to a local coffee shop in Castle Rock and get them each a $5 gift card to a local coffee shop and put the gift cards on top. I also found this while we were at Sam's Club. It's just an assortment of different candy canes and the candy canes have really cute little gummy decorations on all of them. So I thought these would be fun as stocking stuffers and just to add in on their gift. The last item I'm going to include in the gift for my directors are these. And these are actually the bit of homemade. And I did not do these myself this year and it's because I was missing a piece of equipment that I needed to do these. What these are are ornaments that you pick up from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and they came clear. And a very good friend of mine, actually a fellow SR, went ahead and spray painted them with glitter sp spray paint. And then this is where I'm missing the equipment that I needed for these. The C's, which are the classical conversation C, is cut out by a Cricut machine. And I absolutely want a Cricut machine for Christmas this year because I would love to be able to do personalized gifts like this. So she cut them out on vinyl and then you stick the, she stuck them on here and then she tied a bow on top. So each director will get a Classical Conversations Christmas ornament as well. And I am still trying to decide how I'm gonna package or put together my director's gifts. I found these stockings at Walmart. They were 92 cents each. So my one thought was I'm gonna get some glitter and glue and write each of their names on top of the stocking and then put their gifts inside of here. Or I still have these gift bags left over from my Challenge B students that I used for their gifts. So the decision hasn't been made on that yet. Um, still trying to figure out which way we're gonna do that. And if you're wondering about what I talked um, about as far as the Cricut machine being able to do the C on the ornaments, I'll put a link to an actual Cricut machine down in the description below. I told you it's actually one of the top gifts on my Christmas list this year. So I'm really hoping to maybe get one of those to make more personalized gifts for everyone. But I also wanted to say thank you to Jen so much for helping me out with the ornaments. I really appreciate your time and effort on them and you helped make my gift much more personable and special. So thanks Jen for helping out with that. So this wraps up really all of the um, group or bulk gifts that I need to be giving out this year. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I decided to give everyone. I hope it gave you some great ideas and I am off to go get those gift cards for my directors and then get everything put together. Once again, just make sure and check all the links out down below. If
if you liked anything that you saw in the video today. And I'm gonna tell you that we will also be having another episode coming out of gift giving, but it's gonna be a list of Camp David's favorite things and holiday gift ideas. So make sure and keep your eye out for that episode. It will be coming soon. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that I'm giving for the holidays. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.